The 2017 Missouri State Volleyball team is poised for another great season, and it's no wonder why. The Bears returned the bulk of their roster from last season's Missouri Valley Conference Championship team with four senior starters and combined experience in more than 700 collegiate matches. I feel pretty good coming into this preseason. Obviously, we returned four starting seniors and a really good core nucleus. Uh, I think right now we still have a middle position to fill. We've got five players battling for that spot, which is nice that we have great depth in that position. I think we've added an extra outside hitter in Veronica Snelling, which is going to add some nice depth to our outside hitter position. So we've got a couple players vying for that spot. All in all, I'm really, really pleased with the way that we came into shape. Uh, a lot of credit goes to our strength coach, uh, Coach Frey. He did an awesome job keeping our players just in shape, healthy, fit. I want to thank our trainer, uh, Shannon Derricks, who's been working with me for 21 years. Just that group together all summer long, I think we're coming into this non-conference segment uh, the best we ever have. The Bears, who won their final 16 league matches last season, are picked to repeat as league champions in the always challenging Valley. The Valley is deep, and we're going to have three or four teams that are going to be able to battle for that top spot, just depending on you know, who's healthy and who's hot. And obviously you gotta have some good fortune on your side, but uh, I think being picked number one is very warranted. I, I think that, uh, you know, we're a very veteran team, like I said, and uh, coming off a regular season championship from last year, I think that uh, allows us that opportunity to come back and compete for one this year. MSU's senior class of three-time All-American and two-time MVC Player of the Year, Lily Johnson, along with Lauren Boone, Breanne Dixon, and Lindsey Wright, has led the Bears to 70 wins and two NCAA tournaments since arriving on campus. You know, I mean, obviously our goal is to have 20 wins per season. So to have that group already at 70 wins and not even entering their senior season right now, uh, I think that speaks volumes for where we're at. But uh, just all four of those guys, not, not just on the court, but uh, in the classroom as well. I mean, our team GPA has just been incredible. You know, we talk about wanting to have over a 3-0. I think we could set our standards at a 3-5 right now. Um, so just great ambassadors for our program on the court and in the classroom. The Bears have plenty of talent beyond their senior class, including junior Emily Butters, who's been the libero for every set of her career. Sophomore setter and 2016 MVC Freshman of the Year, Danny Mesa, as well as a host of other players. Emily Butters is still going to be our starting libero. Uh, I think she's earned that position and, you know, came in since her freshman year and she's been dominating in that role and I think she's doing extremely well in that area. Um, Jerry Edos has had a really nice uh, summer. She's doing very, very well and I expect her to go from a, a player that came in and served and played some defense to actually starting three rotations on the floor. Aubrey Sheffy's had a really nice summer. Um, I think she's looked really good in, in uh, preseason and someone who can take swings on the outside and um, you know swings on the right side so that adds some great versatility. Obviously, Danny Mesa. Um, you know, being a freshman setter and starting and being first team all conference and returning her, um, that's a really good position to be in. Missouri State adds six newcomers for the 2017 season, including four who earned high school All-America honors during their prep careers. All of our newcomers uh, are newcomers to watch. Uh, I would say Veronica Snelling right now, a left-handed player uh, out of Chicago is doing a really nice job for us. Someone who can take swings again on the outside or the right side and will definitely add depth to our outside hitter position. Um, I, I think for sure she's probably making the most impact right now in the freshman class. And then I think Alyssa Doucette in the middle is somebody who's vying for that other spot right now. Uh, I think she had a breakthrough uh, in practice the other day and really excited to see where she's going to be at this week and, and how she's going to be coming into the scrimmage, but doing some, some nice things with us, throwing a lot of information at them in a short amount of time. The Bears open the 2017 season August 25th at Appalachian State and have a challenging non-conference schedule that includes preseason top 10 opponents Washington and Kansas, a visit to Ohio State, who the Bears defeated at home last season, and home matches against Illinois and Washington State. Our first tournament, we're going to be playing number eight in the country, Kansas. Uh, NC State is a team that just missed the NCAA tournament. Uh, they've got everybody back. They're going to be very, very talented. And then we're obviously playing them on the road with a very short amount of turnaround time. Uh, almost a tournament that I didn't agree to for that reason, but felt you know we couldn't turn down th that type of competition and getting to play Kansas on a neutral floor. Obviously, we open up with Appalachian State. They're excited to play us. It'll be a home competition for them. Uh, but it'll be a good first test for us. 
And then as you know, from there, it just, I, I don't think there's a single win on our schedule. I mean, every team is a team that can beat us or that we can beat. And it's gonna be very, very tough having four teams in the top 25 preseason poll. And I think by the time we're done, we'll be end up have playing uh, more teams that will have been in the top 25 by the time preseason's over. After playing their first nine matches on the road, the Bears begin the home season on September 14th versus Chattanooga in the first of four matches over three days in the Dr. Mary Jo Wynn Invitational, and they visit Illinois State on September 22nd to start Valley play. For MissouriStateBears.com, I'm Art Haynes.